Hi YouTube, I've just been watching a film about Temple Grandin and it got me thinking about a way of teaching algebra to visual thinkers. Now, algebra was the uh, one of her, the subjects Temple Grandin found very difficult because it uses letters instead of numbers. Uh, the same is true for Christopher Pratt because uh, even though he can memorise pi for over 30,000 places, uh, he wasn't able to do math for any level because it's algebra based. Once again, numbers are replaced by letters, much harder for visual thinkers to understand. But a way of at least teaching basic algebra for visual thinkers is this. Can you see that? Is that clear? You can just see I've drawn a pair of very convincing scales there. 6b minus 3, 5b, I have 5 weights, and each weight is labelled b, okay. and 6b minus 3, so I take away one of them, and it becomes balanced, the equation becomes balanced, and by that they're able to see quite clearly that b equals 3, hopefully, and what level they're at. But that's it, basically. Algebra is hidden numbers, numbers which have letters as pseudonyms, labels, aliases, whatever you want to call them. So if you have weights which can be balanced, then not only does algebra become visible, it becomes tactile, you can touch it. It becomes concrete rather than abstract. Um, if any teachers are watching, try it out. It might work. Because it's a pity if only verbal thinkers can understand algebra and then go on to do maths they have or maths degrees. Because there's many parts of maths where visual thinking is useful, like geometry. I'm sure I'm sure this could work with some people. But I'm bound to say that, aren't I? Mm -hmm. See you later, YouTube. Bye-bye.